Hello and welcome to Morning Afterglow. <clears throat> Today we're talking about Matthew chapter 11 uh, verses 2 through 6 which formed uh, the sermonic text uh, for yesterday's sermon in church and we began our Christmas series of sermons yesterday and I always love Advent Sunday <clears throat> because I relate to it uh, in terms of its expectations and its anticipations and its yearnings and longings. And we find that here. Uh, John the Baptist is in prison, not for anything wrong that he, he had done. Actually, John had been very faithful to God, and yet it got him in trouble with the government. And he was in prison. And even though John was a very strong uh, prophet of, of the truth, <clears throat> and he pointed the way to Christ faithfully, as a forerunner for the Messiah, uh, John, as many of us would, would struggle in prison. And there uh, he had some dark thoughts and he had some doubts. And uh, sometimes you and I struggle with thoughts and doubts um, in our life experiences as well. And so he sent word to Jesus and he said, Jesus, are you really the Messiah? Are you the expected one? Are you the promised one, the one that we hoped would come? And Jesus sent back word to John, yes. Um, and he listed all the many wonderful things that Jesus did uh, in setting people free. The lame walk, the deaf hear, the poor have the gospel uh, preached to them. All sort of miracles that occurred uh, because of his work in the lives of people. But particularly those things were indicated from the uh, prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament that when the Messiah would come he would do these kinds of things and then Jesus said to John uh, don't be offended at me blessed is the one who does not take offense uh, at me in other words John believe don't stumble don't trip over this because you have believed the truth by believing in me there are a couple things I want to emphasize this morning as we think together. One is that Jesus Christ is the one that was promised by God the Father uh, to send to this earth to be the, the Savior, the Deliverer, uh, the promised one to set us free from our sins, to banish evil from reality, and to bring about God's great kingdom. And the second thing I want to emphasize <clears throat> today is that Jesus Christ, being the promised one and the expected one, the Messiah, is everything that we were promised he would be and more. And I want to encourage you with that. <clears throat> you know, at Christmas time, we get all revved up about many things that we think will give us joy, that will give us a hype. But in reality, um, the real joy in this life is really and truly found in knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And so I want to encourage you today to rejoice in Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you today to thank God for sending Jesus, that Jesus is everything we need Him to be. And so I would think with Jesus when He said, Come unto me. All you who are labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Um, that invitation is open to us today. When he said, come and drink, if anyone is thirsty, let him drink. For out of your innermost being, if you believe in me, will flow rivers of living water. Everything centers on Jesus Christ. Let's rejoice in that today. I hope you'll have a great, great week. And I'll look forward to seeing you again next time on Morning Afterglow. Mm -hmm.